Hello, X Wars fans. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll continue to talk more about T Tool Lite and introduce its main features, such as remote generation, transponder clone, etc. Now we will introduce the remote generation function in detail. Key Tool Lite supports generating X-Horse remotes, including XK series wired remotes, XN series wireless remotes, XE series super remotes, and XS series smart keys. If we want to generate an XK series wired remote, we should connect the Key Tool Lite and the remote with a remote programming cable. Then tap on Vehicle Remote. Find the required wired remote option. Tap on Generate. Note, do not install battery when generating XK series wired remotes. If we want to generate an XS series smart key, we also need to tap on Vehicle Remote and find the option in need. Then place the knife style universal smart key into the coil. Tap on Generate. Now the generation is successful. Next, let's learn more about frequency detection. Keytool Lite supports common remote frequency detection. Place the remote following the instruction and press any button. Then we can see the mode and frequency of the remote are displayed. Now we are going to introduce how to generate transponders. Keytool Lite supports super transponder generation. Tap on Generate Transponder. We can enter a list that displays the transponder models supported by Keytool Lite. It also supports retrieval of generation options by vehicle model. Take the ID11 transponder, ID11 chip, as an example. Take a blank super transponder XT27A VVDI super chip. Place it into the coil, tap on Generate. The generation will complete immediately. Tap on Transponder Clone and put the transponder into the coil to detect as the picture shown. The result shows that it's been generated into an 11 transponder. Then we demonstrate how to collect transponder clone data. Take Transponder 46 as a case. First, tap on Transponder Clone. Put the original remote into the coil and tap on Read Transponder. Then tap on Clone. Start Clone. Select 46 Transponder Clone. There are two methods of clone. Generally, we choose the recommended one, Original Key Clone. Hold the device coil close to the remote and press the start button with the remote to collect data. Then put the original remote into the coil for verification. After that, put in the VVDI superchip to write data. OK, the clone is successful. Now this chip can turn on the ignition and light up the motor meter. Next, we will demonstrate how to clone the IC ID card. Tap on Special Function and enter IC ID Clone. The coil is used to identify the ID card. And the area below is used to identify the IC card. Place the IC card as shown. Tap on IC ID Identification. Tap on Decryption. Then place a blank IC card on it. Tap on Clone. Now Clone is successful. OK, that's all for the main features of Key Tool Lite. If you have any further questions, please leave a message in the comment. See you in our next video.